All right. Can we end with a bang? Boom! A Cards with Michael production. Hello, welcome. This is uh, Cards with Michael. Um, today we have a kind of funny, kind of special episode. Uh, we're going to open two core collector boxes, but they're going to be from two different batches. I've been trying to figure out why some packs have the tokens in the back, some packs have the tokens in the front, and uh, like I was just like, why? Well, how is that possible? So today, I have a video that will show you kind of what's going on. I don't really know all the details, but it's just kind of cool. Just, you know, before we get too far, both of these boxes are sponsored by Scott K. Thank you so much, so generous. Two entire boxes being sponsored. And without further ado, let's go to the other camp. So, here we have um, two Core 2021 uh, cases. So each case has, as it, as it says, 72 booster packs um, or six sealed uh, boxes. And um, as you can see here, let me see if I can get a shot that has, uh, has both of these. Um, they're both made in the USA. Both made in the USA. And uh, what's different about them is the one on my left says 620, so June 2020. That's when I assume it was made. And the one on my right actually says March 2020. So, uh, as a spoiler alert, I will be expecting the ones on my left to have a token in the back and the ones on my right have a token in the front. So let's see, let's see if that plays out. Um, I'd be surprised if it didn't because this is not my first dry run of this, but I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and start with um, this March 2021. Note that I think that they also might have been printed at different uh, places. Um, obviously, the, the major company that uh, Wizards works with is Cardamundi, and their biggest print shop is in Dallas. Uh, but there's also one in Massachusetts, so C-A-R-T-A-M-U-N-D-I, it's like Cards of the World, basically. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and open one of these boxes for Scott K. Another thing we're going to notice is the way that these are sealed. So let me go ahead and show you something interesting. So these are nice, clean seal, all right? Um, but the ones that were uh, in the other batch, let me go ahead and crack that open. Yeah, the one thing I noticed is, look at that, that's seal. It is, uh, it's just not as clean, do you see? There's like this thing here. So that's one way you can tell if you have a, um, I guess, I don't want to call it first print run versus second print run, because I don't know the full details, but uh, that is what it seems like to me. It seems like a first batch was made on March. Uh, tokens are always in the front, which we'll find out right now. And then another batch, tokens in the back, that has the, the weird seal, the weird seal, so to speak. All right, so let's go ahead, open this up for Scott. Yeah, so once again, this is the March 20th box. And uh, let's get straight to it. All right. So, what are you guys looking for in this? Let's see. Um, I think Scott really wants an, an Ugin to figure, oh, I guess he just wants a, so here, okay. Immediately, you see, token is in the front, right? Um, that's just, it's kind of what I expected, and um, <coughs> it is exactly what's happening. So, oh, another, another thing. We'll look at the box and stuff, but uh, I actually didn't really see much of a difference. All right, let's go ahead, get through this pack and get through this box. All right, Able Passage, Extended Art, Kerbic the Spiteful, uh, Foil Extended Art, Founders Incinerator, Magmut, Steward, Derek's Harbinger, and a Badger Solidarity. All right, pack one, kind of a whiff there. We're, we're looking for like, you know, <laughs> The, the big hits now have finally stabilized. Like, we know it's gonna be Ugins, uh, Teferis are still kind of like major, um, and then, you know, Grim Tutor. All right, Nine Lives Extended Art. Right, let's put that there. A Conspicuous Snoop. Uh, Gadrak the Crown Scourged. And a Solemn Simulacrum. All right, Tutelage and a Steward. Okay, so far, eh. Not so great. Not so great at all. 
All right. And token the front, as per usual. Raha, Heart of Kelt. Whoa, okay, Chromatic Orrery. That's a really good hit. It's a spicy one. It's a spicy one. Foil Extended Art Mythic and a Foil Extended Art Glorious Anthem. All right, all right. Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight, Showcase, and a uh, Okay. Not that mythic. The Orrery so far is definitely the best hit. Without a doubt. Um, it helps. You know, I got some feedback on this, so let's, let's do that. Just put the, the really spicy hits at the very, very top. Kind of forming a row. Alright. Avito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Gorgeous. Speaker of the Heavens. Foil Extended Art. Massacre. Cultivate. Cultivate. Love it. Love it. And a uh, Magnet. Alright, alright. We are approaching the fifth pack of the box. So far, nothing amazing, nothing amazing. And that's a little, a little cultivate action. Cultivate, cultivate. Alright, Speaker of the Heavens, Extender Art. Ooh, a foil Ugin. Alright. Obviously, great hit, great hit. And another mythic, Liliana, Wake of the Dead. Ooh, foil cultivate. Cultivate? Cultivate? That is a, a welcome sight. For sure. All right. Halfway through the box. Let's see. Is this a dog cat token? Is it a dog cat token? No, it is a dog griffin token. All right. Uh, got a weaver. Speaker of the heavens. Nine lives. Steward. Magmut. A scoozy oozy. And a foil containment priest. All right. Meh. <laughs> we got three mythics so far halfway through the box, so we can definitely do better. We need one of those three mythic packs i think we've seen four mythic packs as well so you know we're not we're not out of the game yet all right mangara the diplomat foil mythic massacre worm just a nice little oh my gosh double core horn okay got two mythics there uh obviously you know fatal passage and some of the rares are still you know money 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 but uh <laughs> a lot of cards have stabilized in prices guys and that's not a surprise you know when supply starts, you know, meeting up with demand. All right, Shanja Heart of Fire, Borderless, great little mythic, and a foil showcase uh, Chandra's Incinerator. When supply starts increasing and uh, people start looking to new products, Jumpstart, Double Masters, um, stores also need to liquidate their core now. They need to buy Zendikar Rising, they need to buy Double Masters, um, they need to pay rent. Like, um, it's not a surprise to see prices crash. And I think uh, what we've noticed is from, you know, sets that are prime. Oh, a dog cat token. That that is a, a mythic little token right there. That's a little hit. What we've noticed is that, hey, another mythic terror of the peaks. Uh, that, you know, everyone knows it's good now. Secrets out. Discontinuity, mythic foil. Oh, it's a fairy showcase. 293. All right, let's take a peek at that. And a Garrick's Harbinger Showcase Foil. So like, like I was saying, um, as stores need to start liquidating, as they need to, you know, get cash to um, pre-order the next batch of stuff, you know, it's not a surprise to me that prices are crashing. So, if you're wondering, should I buy Core 2021? You know, prices keep going down. Um, I don't think they're going to keep going down by much. I think we're, we're seeing kind of the bottoming out. Um, if you track, for example, Core Collector Booster Boxes, on TCG player, they've kind of stabilized the price as well. They were dropping a lot, and now they're kind of, eh, you know, the 212, that re that area. Um, you know, just natural cyclical cycles of supply, demand, you know, there, there's a, there's an up cycle and not a down cycle. And uh, I, I think we're we're getting about stabilized. I mean, honestly, Core never really had a, a huge, you know, up and down trough and peak. Um, so that was nice because, uh, you know, no one felt, no one felt like they were getting gypped, and no one felt like they were uh, missing out. That's that's kind of the best way I can describe it, um, and that's kind of what you know. Hopefully, most products are gonna be like instead of, I don't know, something like Jumpstart. That that has, that's been a roller coaster. Um, that's been a one-way train of a roller coaster. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna keep going. We're almost through the box. I think uh, you know that last pack with the Teferi, Terry, uh, Terror of the Peaks, and 
uh, discontinuity really made up for a lot of the, the sins of the past, so to speak. All right, containment priests and a foil cultivate. All right. <laughs> All right, last pack. That was like a sing along moment. You know what I mean? All right, Ooh, pack label. Foil extend or just normal extended art. Baron, Polarian Arc Mage, Foil extended art. A pilfer. Lieutenant. All right, can we end with a ban? Boom! Not good. All right, so what, what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics. Um, you know, one being to fairies, great. Discontinuity foil, it's great. Tear of the Peaks, great. Chandra, not so great. Massacre War, not so great. Mangara, eh. Liliana, Ugin. Star of the Show probably still is this Chromatic Orrery or that Showcase the Fairy. Would have to check the prices. Um, just the usual suspects, foil extended arts are gorgeous, obviously. No changes there. And um, let's go on to the next box. So the next box, as I mentioned, the uh, the seal is just not as clean. So once again, this is the uh, June 20th batch, so to speak. Um, I actually have more theories about it. So I think uh, I, I kind of geotagged where I got my boxes from. And basically any box that I got from a store in the Northeast corridor of the United States uh, usually wore these, these first editions. These, uh, these uh, smooth seal, uh, these guys. These guys, the, uh, the tokens on the front. Uh, which is why, you know, I'm based in New York, so all of my boxes at first were tokens on the front. And then I started getting some of my pre-orders that came from, you know, states kind of in the south, kind of closer to Dallas and the Texas area. So, um, and they came like this. Seal like that, um, token in the back, uh, you know, June 2020. So my theory is that the first batch was, you know, printed in the Massachusetts branch at Cardamundi, and the second batch was printed in Dallas. Unfounded, I have nothing to prove, no evidence at all, besides just colloquial, like my stores in, in the Northeast corridor got this batch. Um, notably, when the uh, WPN Premium stores were able to get the collector boxes basically a week uh, ahead of the release, um, those were all tokens to the front. So, um, notably also, uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments is based in Florida, so I would expect that he gets the box from Dallas. So, you know, those are just my thoughts. Uh, Rudy, of course, uh, his boxes have been token in the back. So, I don't know, just some, just some thoughts, just some thoughts. Oh, right, the box, the box itself. So, this is the box that uh, I just opened um, and haven't opened any of the packs. And then this is the box from uh, the first opening. So, as you can see, the sticker is different, right? Uh, but, uh, uh, there, there's not much else. Yeah, the sticker is different, but that is it. They're, they're you know, they're, they're very similar boxes otherwise. Um, yeah, just don't really expect much difference. I don't expect that they're different at all in terms of the cards that you're, you'll be able to open in them. Um, it's just, you know, I'm just trying to figure out, I just figured out, you know, why is the token in the front and why is the token in the back? So here, token in the back. All right. All right, another box for Scott K. Let's see how we do. Temple of Malady, Subira, Foil Extended Art, Ghostly Pilfer, uh, Ageless Insight, Showcase, and yeah, the token. All right. That was a bad pack, of course. Uh, not all of them can be knockout all-stars, but some are really, really smelly. All right. Whoa, okay, another Teferi, this time 293 again. All right. Showcase Mythic, Tough Fairy, Master of Time. Nice, nice little pull. All right. And a Liliana suit. Soldier Knight. Okay. What will the next pack bring us? Zombie, Demon. All right. Glorious Anthem, Senate Art, Nine Lives, Temple of Mystery. Come on, packs. Come on. Grim Tutor. All right. It's like they, they they heard me. And a foil showcase, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. All right, not two shabs, not two shabs at all. That that came through. All right, packs, keep 
Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. We need to do some encouragement, you know? Foil extended art. Maze mind tome. Surprises are so low. I think they're pretty good for what they do. Uh, cultivate and containment trees. All right, all right. And bird cat. Cat bird. Notably, that is a, is a token for my Koya as well. A little 1-1 one, one cat bird. All right. Double vision. Foil. Uh, Basri cat. Foil extended art. Feline sovereign. All right, all right. Basri's lieutenant. A showcase rare there. And a massacre worm in foil in borderless. Nicest version you can have. And a goblin wizard treasure. All right. Uh, this is pack six of the box. And we have five mythics so far, so I would say average. Um, I expect nowadays eight to nine mythics per box. So that is the, the minimum expectation that I expect. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, what else can we draw from these boxes? Oh, uh, you know, the fact that, the, that, that there were two seeming print runs of it, um, to me is news actually. Like I can't, you know, showcase mythic. Lily on Wake of the Dead. I'm not going to be able to confirm that. And and everyone, conventional wisdom says this, there's only one print run of the product, right? But the reason why I suspect there might be another print run, despite you know, besides all the stuff that we just talked about, is there just seems to be a huge glut of supply, right? Like, um, they we didn't have this thing with Ikoria. Ikoria, everything came from the same one, and it just like it just felt like there's like not enough. But hey, Foil Mythic, Grim Tutor. Um, and I don't feel that way with Core. I feel like the market has a lot more left. Um, and it could be as a result of lack of demand, wallet fatigue, right? Um, or, 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 or smash right in between Jumpstar, Double Masters, Zendikar Rising. Some people still didn't even open all their Ikoria yet. Um, that could be one of the reasons. And, you know, with the Core set, people didn't buy as much. Maybe uh, retailers didn't pre-order as much so distributors are stuck with more but um you know another idea plain and simple could just be they made more they printed a lot more um whether or not they plan to print a lot more hey another mythic elder gargroth main gar all right um no one knows i don't know at least uh, but you know just from observing the market there's a lot of core out there and uh people are trying to sell but that doesn't mean that core isn't going to be a good investment vehicle. I think, uh, you know, with anything with EDH, like, look, we have two Grim Tutors in this box, Elder Gargara, Mangara, these Lilianas are just gorgeous. The very massive time literally is going to be an EDH all-star until it's banned. Like, it's just, you can't, if you read this card, the way it reads is just amazing. Like, you, you can use a plane to its abilities at instant speed. So you don't even have to use the face out until you get attacked by creatures. And then you use it, right, at instant speed. If that doesn't happen, you're just constantly taking up on every single player's turn in EDH. It just, it's so good. So I think those prices will eventually start you know, going back up. When people stop opening uh, the product, when the product starts getting more and more rare, um, I don't feel this way with actually any of the other collector pops, uh, boxes. Um, sorry, I don't feel that way with Theros and Throne, but I do feel that way with Ikoria. Ikoria is a little bit different though, that's just, uh, you know, no one's ever, I don't know if they're ever gonna get as good as Ikoria again. I think that might have been a mistake on their end, like, it was just too much value. Um, like, if Ikoria packs actually had the Japanese exclusive uh, Plane uh, uh, Godzillas, then I think they would have been reasonable, um, but their current EV is just like, I don't think they ever intended that to be that good. All right, cultivate, cultivate, and a Garrick Unleashed. Wow, this is a very mythical box. Um, I've been doing a lot of talking, but we've already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, not two shabs at all. But where's the foil borderless uh, Teferi and Ugin? Right, like that's that's kind of that's the real spice now. Not that we've opened enough. Okay, heroic intervention. That's actually pretty good. And Chandra's Incinerator, come on. Boom! No, a Gorehorn. All right, last pack, last pack. All right, so hopefully you learned something on this video. Uh, once again, I'm just trying to make observations and not make, what? That's three Lilianas in this? Okay, 
not make too many assumptions. Um, I'm just telling it as I see it. No, no. Dog can't talk. So, didn't get that foil borderless fun stuff, but we did open what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mythics. Three of them Billy, being Liliana's. A foil Liliana, foil showcase Liliana, and showcase Liliana. Liliana. Not too bad, not too bad. Put the box prices up. I strongly don't think that there's a difference between the two. I really don't. Um, I've, we've opened enough boxes of both. Uh, I can't prove it scientifically. I can't even prove it mathematically. Did anyone notice this with other sets? Uh, please leave comments on what you think is going on. Um, like the video, give it a little thumbs up. If you like this type of content, I, I wouldn't say I spent a lot of time researching. I just kind of noticed on a whim. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Just natural cyclical cycles of supply, demand, and you know,